Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. I thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So this video is really so very important. I think every black person should actually see it because some of the some of us are kind of losing it. I mean, it, I know black people have culture. Black people love welcoming people. Black people are very kind. Black people love to include every other person. But there is a limit to what somebody can do. When you see that this particular thing is beyond what you are supposed to do, do not bother doing it. That's why I talk about boundaries. Sometimes the boundary we set for ourselves, we try as we try so hard to include people that are not supposed to be there. When you include people that are not supposed to be there, the sacred things that we are supposed to share and have, they defile it. And at the same time, come back to tell you that uh, you all are the problem and the act of victims. Now there is a group for black people and a pop colored person join the group. And all of a sudden it is okay for some people. Why? Because the person passed the vibe check. How do you know when somebody passed a vibe check? Because some of us are so modern that they don't even want to like, you know, sit back or sometimes you don't have to be in a hurry to welcome people into a black space. That's why most times we talk about cook out. So it was at the point of trying to find out if this person is worth being in that group that they found out that the person is right to the sis and been using the end word with a hard R. You know what? Let's get into this video. You know, community accountability videos never do well. The people who need to learn the lesson the most are never willing to um, learn anything from the lesson they're never willing to sit down and get their talking to. And with that being said, black community, remember that video I did about the cookout and I explained how the cookout was a metaphor for a black space? Well, there is a picture circulating on of TikTok and it is about this guy, this white man who joined a black Jeep group and he said he did, he he misunderstood that it was a jeep group for black people and he thought it was a group for people who owned black jeeps and a lot of black people believe that because they want to believe that and the reason why black people want to believe that is because those are the black people who need white people to qualify their humanity i said what i said my mutual who brought this to my attention, I saw her video. Um, Miss Jonesy's in the Bonesies. I'll tag her so that you can see the whole video on her page. And of course, she left no crumbs. I myself run a black Facebook group. The reason why those black groups exist is because when black people attempt to join the mainstream group, the group where everyone should be inclusive, they are met with uh, prejudice, bigotry, and racism from white people, just like in real life. And so, just like in real life, black people have to create their own spaces where they can just exist and be safe. Then here comes this white guy in this group and he makes this post saying he didn't realize that it was a black group for people who own jeeps he thought it was a group for people who own black jeeps i'll tell you one thing white people are masters at convincing black people that they don't understand the dynamics of racism they are legit masters at that because y'all always buy into it and again, the reason why you buy into it is because for some reason you need white people to qualify your humanity. You need their acceptance. Now, I typically don't do this, but I'm going to do it this time because usually when I have a problem with a person or a group or anything like that, um, I don't usually say this is the name, this is what happened, but I'm going to do it this time. I belong to a Facebook group, a traveling Facebook group uh, for black women. Uh, it was created for black women, a black space that I thought I would be safe in. And the name of the group is called Sisters Traveling Solo. I joined this group years ago when I thought that it would be very, uh, well, because one, you know, we do travel from time to time. And two, um, of I wanted really good advice from people who had traveled to other countries because we knew that an out-of-country move might 
happen in our future. Well, a couple of years ago, they banned me from the group. And let me tell you why. They banned me because a white woman in the group posed a question and I answered her question and I answered it honestly. Now, this is a, a space that for all intents and purposes are supposed to be, is supposed to be safe for black people, right? Otherwise, otherwise, why make a group for black people? The whole point, right? Well, she did what white women eventually do when they show up, when we hold open the door and invite them in. She centered herself and she became harmful. But like I said in the beginning of my um, video, a lot of black people just lack their consciousness. She asked the question, well, if I go on these group trips, is it okay that I go? Will I be invited? Is it all right that I go? I answered, personally, I would prefer if you weren't there. Again, why join a group, a traveling group, if we are going to integrate with white people who can possibly end up being harmful to us? Why do that? Why create a black group? Now, because I tend to be a little bit more conscious than the average black person, I immediately saw what she was doing. She was centering herself within a black group, a group of black women, and she was looking for the support from our community and the validation from her community from our community that she does it and cannot find in her own community because for the most part white people lack community black people tend to be very welcoming we are always leaving our borders open and never gatekeeping and then white people come in and they do this shit and we let them now if this is what the woman was doing in the group what do you think she was going to do on a trip especially a trip to a brown country or a black country nation what do you think she was going to do when black when white people do not deconstruct their racism wherever they show up where black and brown people exist they are going to be harmful it is inevitable it is inevitable it's just a matter of time because the thing about white people White women in particular, because black women, we have had our dealings with them. They are always going to choose race and privilege first. Above all else, that's who they are. And this is why we keep them out. When we do not want to deal with that kind of harm. The harm that racism inevitably causes. But y'all won't stop letting them in. Y'all won't stop letting them access us in those spaces. So yeah, old boy showed up in the Jeep group, and guess what? Mm-hmm. They found all his racist social media posts. I mean, hard ER racist posts. Mm-hmm. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Not all white people are overtly racist and intend to be harmful. But even your covert nice races who have not done that work, that shadow work, end up being harmful because they have not done that work. It is what it is, and the sooner you accept that, we're going to keep having this problem. Not all spaces need to be integrated, but some do. We black people here in America deal with racism on a level that cannot be matched anywhere else in the world. These white folks here in America is on some different shit. And it's that shit that fucks with the black psyche. But it's up to you as a black person to be conscious and aware of that. To protect yourself and other members of the black community from that harm. And when you don't, you fail your community, and that is just the truth. Until racism is eradicated from the root up, we will always need spaces in order to be safe, to exist, to not have to experience that harm, to have conversations with one another, needed conversations, important community-related conversations. Y'all got to wake up and stop being so meek and weak. 
I saw so many posts about that right here on TikTok even. And you should hear the comments from black people. Yes. We rock with Mark because Mark rock with us. He passed the vibe check. We had to let him in. But thank God for that one conscious black person that did. Just a little bit of digging. Every post I saw, I made the comment. Yeah, um, his racist posts have emerged so we know who he really is. And guess what? Guess what? Black people did not care. Y'all didn't care that this white man who infiltrated your group with your permission is racist as fuck. Y'all didn't care what he really thought about black people. So this is all I got from this video. And before I get into this video, I am going to say that there are so many black people that do not care, right? And it's actually time you all start caring because not everybody is permitted or allowed to be in a group with you. And most times it's always about, about vibe check. It's beyond vibe check, you know? Sometimes they vibe, even the ones you work with are the ones that will vibe with you and go behind you to report you to, to HR to tell them that you've done this, you've done that. I mean, I think it's really, I don't know, I have brought so many videos about black people get, keeping themselves, their culture and all that. But it looks like at the, as the day goes by, like, you know, some people are still willing to allow people into a space. Now, let me talk about uh, a cookout and black safe space. Black safe space is a space where black people can communicate with themselves, talk about some certain things, how to grow, how to be them, cook out and like get together and all that. It is not a space for any other person. But most times we are so lenient, lenient to the extent that we don't even know when when some people are supposed to be with us or when some people are not supposed to be with us. Sometimes we forget our boundaries. And it's probably when after something might have gone wrong that you remember that uh, you lose your guard or whatever, you know. But I think with everything going on, you all can see what it's going on. The world is also like, you know, letting you all know that, that, that you are not wanted. And your culture is also something that they also are targeting. They want to like, you know, all these culture vultures, people that want to penetrate into everybody's culture, take away some things and then leave you where you are. Some of them do not even have, I am not saying all of them, but I am trying to enlighten us a little bit. I am sure you all already know this. So some of them really do not care. And at a particular point in time, they just want to, you know, one thing with uh, some of them is that you see that space that you, they are not supposed to be, trust me, that space they are not supposed to be is where they will stop targeting and that is where they want to be. I have never ever seen people that you tell that uh, do not go here. And you definitely will see somebody going there. Uh, you know, there is something with black people, especially there are places that you say sacred place, do not trespass or something like, you know, but black people would not want to trespass it because they feel like this place is sacred. I mean, they are, I have to keep my boundaries. But you see, they absolutely want to cross to know what is going on there and then I look for a way to like, you know. So if they did not do background check, because a lot of, a lot of them already said he passed the vibe check, because some people, the only thing in their mind is always vibe, vibe, vibe. But life is beyond vibing and the rest of it. Even when the person passes the vibe check, check other things. If they did not dig deep, they would not have seen that this person that you wanted to bring in into black community or into black space have been using the NN word with hard R. So someone that has been using that with hard R, what do you think that person is going to do in that community or in that space that you are bringing them? So let's stop mixing business with pleasure, you know? When something is not supposed to be, do not make it feel like it's supposed to be or it is going to be. This is not their space. There is no need inviting them to that space. You all already been seeing what has been going on and the rest of it. Do I need to start telling people how to uh, tie in their space? Uh, you know, it's just crazy how a black person cannot rock his uh, locks and all that. But when it, this person, it's, excuse me. It is always okay for them to wear the locks and you see people typing them and the rest of it.
you know it's okay for them to wear the locks it's okay for them to wear the braids braids that they know that they are not supposed to wear right they are going to rock it and i mean like when they come out it's all fancy it's all something glorious it's all something really great but when we wear it it's not something great it is ghetto it is it, it makes you look dirty and then they start asking you how often do you wash your hair and you know you can imagine that kind of uh, crazy thing you know so let's continue keep keeping if not we definitely will lose all this culture and you find that that uh, you all have nothing to fall back on like you don't have anything that's all i have to say and let me know what you are thinking in the comment, uh, comment section see you all in my next video bye for now